All right. So I just got done talking to a friend of mine who has been a developer for five years. I just met this person. I've been trying to find out more about the industry. So I had a friend introduce me to somebody else. Now we're friends. I was talking to this person and the first thing that we talked about was tech. He's been in the field for a few years and I've been looking into it really actively and going to a coding bootcamp for six months now. He then told me when he got started, he's self-taught by the way, that he had learned some HTML, CSS, and JavaScript when he got his first position. Dude, I heard that and I immediately was just like, whoa, that is nothing like what it seems to be right now. Even a year and a half ago when I started getting into tech and, and got interested in learning how to develop, I wasn't really learning too much, but I was definitely interested. I'd learned a little bit of CSS and uh, HTML, and sort of understood what a variable was in JavaScript. It seemed more intensive than that to me. I understood that I would have to learn a framework, uh, get really proficient in HTML and CSS and JavaScript, and maybe put some back end on top of that, maybe an additional framework, or at least have some really solid projects to prove that I had some competency within that coding language. Now it seems even crazier. I'm, I mean, through this bootcamp at General Assembly, I'm learning full stack development, which includes, but is definitely not limited to React, MongoDB, Python with Django, Node.js with Express. <sighs> and even with all of that, I'm wondering right now, what should I be focusing on to make myself stand out in the coming months compared to other bootcamp graduates? Should I learn AWS? What about getting neck deep into data structures and algorithms? I'm learning React already. Should I learn React Native so I can dip my toe into the mobile world? What about a more strict object-oriented programming language like Java? I should probably spend some time getting a better grasp on OOP anyways. Hey, wasn't RuneScape originally coded in JavaScript? Java? Fuck. Hey, wasn't RuneScape originally coded in Java? That'd be kind of cool. Anyway, I just wanted to make this really quick rancy video because I've known this for a while, but in case you didn't know, tech has changed. It's pretty hard to get in for most people. It always was, but especially now, there's more and more hyper-qualified people looking for positions after the layoffs that we've had. There's a ton of hiring going on too, but there's more qualified people at the front end and People who are juniors and learning, such as myself, need to kind of come to terms with this. It's going to be an uphill battle. A couple of years ago, if you were looking for a really quick way to skyrocket your income uh, and you know be making 200 grand in uh, three, maybe five years, I would say get into tech, learn how to code. That's a good way to go. But now it is not the track that it was to 200 grand in a couple of years like it was a couple of years ago. And anybody who says that that is the case is trying to sell you something, so be wary. I'm in no way saying this to discourage you, but I know from my perspective, if I had gotten into learning how to code strictly for the money side of things, which I mean, trust me, it's not a small part of why I'm learning it, but if that was the only thing that I was interested in, I would have quit by now. This stuff is hard. You have to actually be interested in it, believe it or not, whether it's the technical side of learning all of the ins and outs of a specific language or framework, or the more practical side of learning the real world application and figuring out how you can help somebody or uh, some business solve a problem that they have. For me, I love building things for people. I've been doing it most of my life. Building things or supplying services to people has always been something that I've done. I own a small service business right now. It's kind of my thing. So for me, I'm looking to move into a position where I mean, they're building sites for people that uh, that need a website, either for their small business or their personal brand, um, or look into building tools for small businesses. I really like tools like CRM tools like Jobber and House Call Pro. It's a immediately applicable to the industry that I'm in, service industry. And um, I'm, I really love those applications. I've used them a lot. So I'm interested in learning how to build out things like this and make these applications better. In addition to that, I have pretty serious personal ambition to build myself and build my skills out of the blue collar world. There's certainly nothing wrong with it, but it's just something that I want to do. I want to be able to use my brain to make income. That's something that's really important to me. So when things get hard, I just remember, I don't want to be stuck in a blue collar position my whole life. I don't want to be doing manual labor until I'm 50. That's not the path that I want to take in life. So for me, I can use that as motivation and a kick in the butt when things get really hard. Just to wrap this up, here's the bottom line. Don't go to a coding bootcamp if you're not truly interested. If you're not sure whether or not you're interested, spend more time learning now. There are way too many free resources on the internet that you can be on right now learning how to code. And I mean, the worst case is you find out that you 
aren't interested in it. And I don't know if that's the worst case. I think the worst case would be not looking into these things ahead of time, signing up, paying five, 10, 15, $20,000 for a coding bootcamp, and then realizing you're not even freaking interested in learning how to code once it starts to get hard. You have to be able to hit these walls before you spend money on a tuition that you would be going down the drain. Because if things get hard and you lose interest, there's no shame in that but you need to get there before you waste the money. Don't be caught wasting that much money on a coding bootcamp. It is, it would be completely unnecessary for you to do that. You can figure out right now if you're gonna be interested in it. So do that. So that's the worst case, but the best case is you learn that you're interested and you sign up for a coding bootcamp, or I mean, even a better case is you learn that you're interested, you love it, and that you actually can manage to teach yourself all the way through to getting a job or building the application of your dreams that you want to build. That would be freaking awesome. But you're not going to find that out if you just sign up right away with the idea that you're just going to land a job making 250K in a year or two. Either way, by spending time learning now to prepare for your coding bootcamp, you can't lose. So just do it.